What's this one? H. Very good. It's a Tuesday morning at the Waltham Family School. While these three to five year olds are busy doing their ABCs, their mothers down the hall are learning English. Period after sentence, capital letters, you know, you guys know the mechanics. But today, the moms are also helping to plan for the school's yeah. annual Fiesta for Families fundraiser at Children's Hospital. It got started several years ago, two years ago, when one of our families had a, a tragedy and uh, her, the father and the family died and the parents came together to make a lunch for the Rotary and the Rotary then made a contribution to help that family and afterwards uh, the, the parents said we'd like to do this you know, again so we could help raise money for the school. So it grew out of that and it's an opportunity for the parents to be involved. <laughs> Bonnie is from Laos and will lead a dance at the second annual event, which will also feature some salsa dance instruction and a Latin fusion band. Children's Hospital Boston at Waltham will host and will prepare some delicious food from recipes provided by the school's parents. It was very exciting to be able to recreate um, these recipes because Jim and I were presented with the recipes made in normal portions, then we had oh, to yeah, produce them for produce mm -hmm. the 200 people. Okay. And they cook food which is just out of this world and the volume is plentiful. So it's a real feast. Dr. Jones checks Pat. Based in the former South Middle School, the Waltham Family School opened seven years ago. It is one of four facilities in Massachusetts to offer an even start literacy program which is unique in providing literacy instruction for both parents and children. When we say we're a family literacy pe program, people think that we're just a program for the parents, for the adults learning English, or we're just a kids program, and we're not. We're an integrated family literacy program, and that's really the strength. The parents are learning English, but they're also learning how to help their children in school, and they're also learning about resources in the community, and they're also contributing. And at the same time, the children are learning English, but they're also learning to be engaged with their family and with other children and other families. So again, the whole family moves forward. The parents get better jobs, it's an economic enhancement for the community, and the children succeed in school, and that's really what we're all about. A significant part of the support for the school comes from federal and state education funds, but there's also a significant community match required. The Partnership for Youth does is we um, work at building the local match, the community collaborations that support the family school. Verizon Foundation, TD Bank Bank North Foundation and others have supported the program for years. But like other organizations that depend on government funding, the school is in trouble. Currently, uh, the federal government, unfortunately, is going to be cutting uh, funding drastically for programs like this. According to a report in the Boston Globe, President Obama has announced plans to shut down the Even Start program next year, which it considers ineffective. If passed by Congress, the move could save $66 million annually. But for the school's director, the long-term effects of the school are too important to cast aside. These are some of our the, the children who started with us in the beginning of the program who are now in uh, second, third, fourth grade, and they're doing very well. And that's one of the measures that we have. Uh, many of our graduates have gone on, they work in the community, they volunteer in the community, they volunteer in their children's school, and I think all of that comes from having been together as a family. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.